everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Dale Chanel Sporty World. Okay. Baby chicken. Let mama know that. Uh, interruption. I'm sorry. Commercial break there. Uh, we're gonna get into another story, in my opinion. Uh, with Deb Chanel's Four Days World with Lady D. I'm also known as that as well. Okay, but my show is titled That's My Opinion. I'm going with it, and that's what it is. Okay, I previewed a, a particular topic I want to talk about, and I thought I wanted to talk about it and share it with others. So, if you want to hear it, sit down with your favorite beverage and let's start the conversation. Okay, we're gonna be talking about Janet Jackson. Yes. You remember JJ? I mean, control. Yes, that one. This um touring, or she right now has a residency in Las Vegas, and she's doing her thing down there. And I know y'all remember this um what do you call it documentary or some kind of uh I don't know if it was a show, a sitcom, but it probably just seriously was a doc documentary. Um. And she did it on Leaving Neverland. I'm sure some of y'all caught it. I still hadn't caught it because I really wanted to just leave a man alone. You know what I'm saying? There's no more needs to call yourself investigating. The man is dead. Who are you going to put in jail? His name? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, they still getting interviews on people that felt that Michael did them wrong when he was living. And all this kind of stuff. You know, they just want to let... Well, they just won't let the dead rest, okay? They, somebody always trying to make a, a, a new movie or write a new book, bring up uh, new evidence that really doesn't matter. The man is gone, okay? He is gone. Either like his music, continue listening to it, or just leave it alone. But anyway, everybody had pretty much spoke out about it, and they wanted uh, Janet's opinion. They wanted her to come set the record straight. But she never would do anything. She Hopefully, she thought it would die down. She's just trying to do her own thing now, make her money, raise her son, and just live life. You know what I'm saying? It's enough. She has to sit and think about her brother every day or every time his birthday come or award uh, come and they honoring in his name, this, that, and the third. You know how the music industry get down. They just... Bring up everything and want to name a certain ward after a, a, a legendary artist. And, you know, it might be her brother at the time. And then, you know, she had to sit and go and parlay with people, rub elbows and chins and throats or whatnot. <laughs> or was something she just really rather just leave alone and uh, not be uh, remembered or not be reminded of her late brother, you know, who was definitely an icon, a legend. But anyway, uh, she finally comes out, she breaks the silence, and she gives us her two cents on what she feels about her brother. And I'm just going to break it on down. It was given by TMZ's reporter. Uh, the title was Janet Jackson, uh, Michael's Legacy Will Continue. That's the title that TMZ had wrote because it's coming from them in their commentary. Uh, it says Janet Jackson has broken her silence admit new allegations against her brother Michael Jackson in leaving Neverland and her message is simple his rep will be just fine I'm guess she's saying reputation Michael younger sister spoke with the Sunday Times and addressed what she thought would happen to the king of pop's legacy going forward saying it will continue Janet went on to say that she still sees Michael's influence in the world today a reassuring sign Janet says, I love it when I see kids emulating him, when adults still listen to his music. It just lets me know the impact that my family has had on the world. She added, I hope I'm not sounding arrogant in any way. I'm just stating what it is. It's really all God's doing, and I'm just thankful for that. In the interview, Janet did not speak on Wade Robinson or Robson and James Safechuck's specific allegations heads on, but it's pretty clear where she stands on the issue. According to Billboard, Janet has been playing Michael's tunes during her concerts without hesitation. She also defended him in the past, specifically when it when Jordy Chandler accused Michael of sexual abuse in 93. At the time, Janet called it a money grab. Other members of the Michael's uh, other members of Michael's family has gone to bat for him in the wake of leaving Neverland, calling Wade and Jane's claims full-blown lies. His estate is even 
talking HBO or, or his estate is even taking HBO to court for airing the explosive documentary saying the network violated a decades old contract they signed with him back in the day in which it agreed not to disparage MJ or put him in a bad life. And then nobody don't know what that means. Okay. Janet Letty's comment comes just days ahead of Michael's 10th year death anniversary. TMZ broke the story. MJ died on June 25th. 2009 he was 50 years old at that time so see that's why i say it's always something that comes up they have to remind her and if it's any static she has to feel like she and the family or the family feels like you know she has to go to bats and set the record straight and continue defending her brother but i'm like when is it time to just stop even getting in the midst of all these things people want you to uh say or do with someone who has deceased or who are deceased. I mean, isn't it enough? He was found not guilty when he was dead. I mean, before he died. Isn't that enough? I mean, what more proof you need? Because people are going to always build up cases and allege this and allege that. Especially when a man is gone, he can't even defend himself. So who looks like the real ass of the situation? The person who's doing it when obviously they could have came out when he was still living, but they didn't want to. I mean, jump on the bandwagon when you got one story going. Get all your stories in. Don't wait and hesitate and think, well, I'll just try it later. Let me see what they're going to get or, or, or what's going to be done. No, jump on it. If he did something, jump on it while it's already hot. Jump on it. Jump on it. You know how the song goes? And then if it's nothing, just leave it alone. But y'all, that was my little piece, my little spiel on it. Because I personally, I just wish they would just leave Michael alone. He was a great asset to the music industry. And he did his darn thing when he was on this earth. You hear me? Nobody will ever hold a candle to him. He is legendary. Just like Elvis Presley. Just like Prince. Like Luther Vandross. These are legends I'm claiming to fame. Okay? Legends. They have a catalog of music out this world. Okay? That are timeless. Nobody can ever say they didn't hear one of those artists that I named and not find a uh, emotion that may come out that day that they would, whatever they were doing that particular day when they heard that song. You know what I'm saying? Same with Michael Jackson. I mean, come on now. Woo. We wouldn't have music if it wasn't for him being a part of the artist that definitely trailblazed throughout the music industry back in that day. Okay. And we are still listening and grooving to their music. So that's all I had to say. I wanted to let everybody know Janet Jessica came out and said, forget y'all little punks, okay? Y'all little uh, money chasers, grabbers. Go work for your money. Do what you got to do. But leave my brother out of it because we are in control of this situation. <laughs> that's probably what Janet says. I'm not going to discuss this no more this year, okay? Y'all, peace and blessings to y'all. And y'all see me next time for another topic, another video. Okay. Peace.